What is up my friends? So today we are taking a look at a brand new plugin from Joey Sturge's Tones called Howard Benson Vocals. Uh, I have been given a review copy to check it out early, which is really awesome. This is an all-in-one vocal mixing plugin uh, made in collaboration with Howard Benson, obviously. Uh, this guy is known for his work uh, with bands like My Chemical Romance, Three Days Grace, amongst many others. It is one plugin that contains a compressor, saturator, equalizer, a multiplier effect, a widener effect, delay, reverb, and then finally an output module. So you can mix your entire vocal track in one plugin, which is really nifty. Uh, this is actually the plugin I used on my latest cover, Toss a Coin to Your Witcher, uh, which was recorded through an SM7B inside of an Isovox booth through my Steinberg URRT4 interface with the Rupert Neve transformers engaged. So there were some saturation on the way in. So yeah, let's take a look at the plugin and see how I did it on the song. So before we pull out the plugin, let's take a listen to the raw vocal track from the song. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. So right off the bat, I think it sounds pretty decent. Uh, I also use a software compressor before I start mixing, since I don't own a hardware one. So I am using the Slate Digital FG Stress on top. So let's take a listen uh, with that one on. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. So that's our starting point right there. Now let's pull out the plugin. So let's just start with the first first module, the vocals, which is the compressor and input. Let's turn that on. So first you need to set the input level uh, that goes into the plugin. Now they made a really easy way of doing this. You just shift double click the input knob and you need to play the vocal track. There you go, now they set the, a proper input level for you, which is really cool. It's a really quick way of doing it. So below the input, we have the compressor knob. Now there are no settings for ratio, for attack release or anything like that. So this compressor sounds the way it is. Luckily, it sounds really, really good. Uh, so let's just crank it up to approximately where I had it on the song. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. That's approximately where I had it. And I like to have a, a, a lot of compression on. So um, up to 10, 12 gain reduction on the compressor I usually use. And uh, below that you have the gain uh, makeup uh, button and there's also an auto makeup button. But I'm not gonna use that. I'm actually gonna turn it a little bit down to give you a little bit more headroom for the rest. He wiped out your past. So that sounds really intense and I like it. Uh, below that there is also a grip button. This uh, button is really awesome. It adds like some slight distortion to your track, but not like in an excessive effect way. But I'm not going to use it on the clean vocal, so we will get back to that when we get to the screaming vocals. So next is the equalizer. Uh, this is also a pretty simple one. It has uh, the treble, middle and bass. And then you have the bell knobs for a wider spectrum when you are making your adjustments. So let's just start with the top. Usually I like to add uh, some crispiness to the top around, I think around 8,000 8, hertz. Let's see how this sounds. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. So then for the next middle band, I think I'm gonna remove some of the low mids around 200 hertz. Yeah, that's where it's at. Just turn that. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. So it sounds good right about there. And I'm gonna actually turn up the free oh this is on the same spot so <laughs> around 144 hertz i'm going to give it a little bit boost again he wiped out your past got kicked in his chest he's a friend just add a little bit of low end push there so on the bottom we got a button for pre-compressor which basically means you can equalize before you compress uh, i'm not going to turn that on then you have a high pass filter which i always recommend using on vocals as you don't need sub bass on your vocals usually <laughs> So it doesn't say where it cuts, but I, I'm uh, Pest. sounds like it cuts from around 80 hertz or something like that. It doesn't take away excessive much, which is really good. Then you also have a lo-fi button for that cool ass radio effect. Your past. Got kicked in his chest. He That's fucking awesome. I like that. You can also make it with a parametric EQ any way you like, but it's nice to have the option right there, you know? So next up is the multiplier. Now this one I don't use myself in this song. 
because basically what it is, it's like a fattener. So uh, to make up, like, like let's say you didn't dub your vocals and you wanted to sound even fuller, you can use the multiplier to kind of fatten up the vocal. But I have already dubbed my tracks, so I'm not using it, but let's just turn it on and check it out how it sounds. In his chest, he's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest, he's a friend. And I think that sounds pretty damn awesome. But again, like I have dubbed my track and I liked how it sounded the way it was, so I'm not gonna engage it, but it's a really handy tool to have. Definitely. All right, that's all I'm gonna do with the main track. Now let's pull up the dub track. I have copied what I just did over to the dub track. The only difference I, is that I'm gonna turn on the widener to make you know the vocals sound broader and not just all in the middle. I like to do this on the dub track because I like to keep the main vocal track in the center, you know, close and personal without too much effects on it. And then I use the dub track, which is lower in the mix, to kind of widen the sound out a little bit. So let's just crank up the range to 100. And then let's see how it sounds. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. That sounds really cool. So now we can hear that easily that it spreads out to both sides. And there's, I'm also gonna engage the mono low end button. Now this makes so that instead of spreading the bass frequencies together with the rest of the vocal out to the sides, it puts them all in the center so that there's not too much mud everywhere in the mix. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. And I think that sounds a lot better, especially together with the rest. Now this is all I do for the main vocal processing. So let's listen to the both main track and the dub track together. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a friend of humanity, so give him a rest. I think that sounds very full and very powerful now. So let's just also, just for the hell of it, turn off the widener and then you can hear how it sounds without. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. As you can hear it easily, now it sounds a lot more more boring when it's all pushed in the center and turn it on again. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. Sounds a lot fuller immediately. So that's all I do on the main vocal tracks. Now I send these two tracks to a group track. This way I have them under the same roof. So if I need to do say a volume adjustment, I can just do it on this one channel. Likewise, if I need to do some equalizing, I can just do it on the group track and not on both. So I will show you real quick what I have. This right here is the group track. Now as you can see, I have some stuff here before Howard Benson vocals again. So let me just show you real quick what that is. First is the equalizer to get rid of some nasty frequencies and tame certain others. Very minor adjustments really. And then we have the, a multiband compressor. This is to keep the low end in check because sometimes when I sing really heavily, the bass frequencies really pop out. And then I have a de to tame the S and T sounds. And then, I activate another instance of Howard Benson vocals. So now I can do my final polish and then add delay and reverb to my tracks. So I remember this also from the, the mixing process that I had some extra EQ on there. I have actually the settings set. 3 plus gain, the bell knob and on 10k approximately to give it a little bit more air. Now it's time to add delay. I, I usually always use some delay on my vocals, uh, usually very subtle. So let's turn on the echo module. Uh, this is also a very simple one. You have the amount knob for how much delay you want. And then you have a mono stereo switch. So the stereo one is a, kind of a ping pong delay uh, that goes from left to right. And then you have the mono, which is straight in the middle. Let's just quickly check those out. This is stereo. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his... As you can hear, that's the ping pong one. And let's turn on the mono. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He Usually I always use a ping pong delay that's, you know, on the main vocals because I feel like a mono delay doesn't really add too much. A ping pong delay adds a lot more width to the vocals. So let's turn that on. And I remember having it on about 20% there. Here you have the, the knob to change the time signature. I have it synced. You can also turn that off and put it to whatever you like. So I have it synced to 1-4 uh, and then you have a lo-fi button on the end, which is the same as on the equalizer. It makes like this radio lo-fi effect. So I can turn it on one off. He wiped out your past. Got kicked. But you can easily hear that now I feel the, the, the delay is just disturbing uh, the rest of the vocals. But with the lo-fi engaged, it gives a little bit more depth and sounds a little bit bigger. He wiped out your past. Got kicked in his chest. Almost always low pass the high frequencies on the delay. 
All right, so let's jump to the next module, the space module. Uh, this is the reverb. Uh, I have it set here to the settings that I used on the song. So let's just turn it on and see how it sounds. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. I think this reverb sounds incredibly nice, especially on, you know, heavy vocals like this. It really blends well into the mix. So let me just crank up the amount for you guys so you can hear how it sounds. He wiped out your past, got kicked in So this has probably turned into one of my favorite reverbs to use at the moment. And it's crazy, like I have all these other cool reverbs with tons of options, but still, this one is just like perfectly optimized for my usage. Anyways, let's jump to the last module, the output module. Now, there's no real big magic to this one. It's basically the final step of the FX chain where you control the gain uh, out from the plugin. So it has a sweet spot meter like before, which is really handy. You can easily place your eyes on it and see if it's too loud or not. So let's just take a listen. He wiped out your past. So you can see it pushing the yellow there and it's not peeking onto the red. So this sounds absolutely fine the way it is. Uh, below that, I'm gonna engage the limit button. You know, this is just like a safety net in case it peaks. That's it, that's all the vocals mixed. Now, let's uh, turn off everything we just did, listen to the raw track, and then we engage everything. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He wiped out your past, got kicked in his chest. He's a so before we end the review, let's take a look at one of the features we skipped earlier, and that is the grit button on the vocal module. Now let's go here to one of my growls in this song. There's not too many of them. This one is dubbed and panned to the left and right, but I'm gonna center it now. As you can see here, I have the grit turned up. But let's just turn that off and listen to this screen line. And now we're gonna crank this grit button up. As you can hear, it adds some really awesome distortion to the vocal without exaggerating it and I find this so incredibly handy on screams and there's a lot of screaming vocals out there that exaggerate the use of distortion on their vocals. It really adds more aggressiveness to the screams. All right, so there we have it. Uh, in conclusion, I would say that Howard Benson Vocals is without a doubt a really powerful tool to mix vocals in, like I just showed you. Uh, and there's tons of advantages of having everything set in one plugin like this. Uh, you save processor power for, for one, and it's easy on the eyes and uh, easy to work with. And even if you don't like that, you can just, you know, uh, turn off the modules that you don't want to use and add your own stuff in between, uh, kind of like I did with the group track right here. But I definitely have fallen in love with how it sounds. I love how the compressor sounds, the saturation sounds awesome, and uh, not to mention that grit button, the slight tube distortion you can get, and the effects like the multiplier and wider are just magnificent. And then you have, of course, the delay and the, the reverb, which really surprised me, because usually with reverbs that I can't adjust myself, I get a little bit cranky because I'm kind of picky about it, but this one just falls right into place and sounds awesome right off the bat. Howard Benson Vocals releases on the 16th of January, and right now they have a pre-order offer, so if you buy it right now, you will get it cheaper than when it's released. Uh, I will leave links in the description below. So, until next time, guys, I will see you later.